Mars, the latest frontier. The Mars rover Curiosity first touches down on Mars. Its mission? To find evidence that the planet is capable of supporting life. To pave the way and help prepare for an eventual human mission to Mars, to see if there are resources that are there that a human mission might be able to utilize, things that we might be able to use to, for example, produce rocket fuel for the return trip home, find water so that a human could live off of it while they were there, things like that. Curiosity has found a great deal in the last five years, rounded pebbles that suggest an ancient river once flowed here, signs of lakes on the floor of a site astronomers have called Gale Crater, and after the lakes dried up, evidence of groundwater that left minerals behind. We had good reason, of course, to think that water was there, but, um, you know, from the day we found the rounded pebbles till today, it's just been water, water, water. And that's, that's been really wonderful uh, to learn about ancient Mars that way. That suggests this spot on Mars was habitable for millions of years. It could have sustained life. There was water that was out on the surface for long periods of time. There were streams, there were ponds, there were lakes. And the pH was right so that life as we know it could have existed and persisted for quite a long period of time. Now, three billion years later, a thin atmosphere keeps Mars dry, cold, and apparently lifeless. Curiosity has driven just over 15 kilometers, drilled into many rocks, and captured more than 200,000 images of sands whipped by the winds into dunes, swirling dust devils, and even a few selfies. Its pictures are a preview, NASA says, for astronauts who will one day arrive in person on the Martian landscape. John Hendren, Al Jazeera.